What's up, everybody? This is part two. So, let me explain. The previous part one video came from a place called uh, Book Off. And Book Off is just a big uh, chain type store, uh, but they buy comics and they put them out on this rack, kind of like library style, vertically. And, um, you know, it can be hit or miss. You just don't know. And there's about maybe six or eight racks. And so it takes about an hour. And that was what that was. And I think I ended up pulling about 75, 80 books, something like that. This came from a, a legitimate, you know, stuff in a short box. At a, at a local place that I have. <clears throat> but uh, let's just run through this. This is basically, you know, going through a bunch of books and trying to pick out the coolest books or the cooler books you can find. So, issue one, Invincible Iron Man. Riri Williams, uh, the Scotty Young version of the number one. Um... Great, great covers on this run of Jean Grey. Uh, I only managed to find these, but I didn't have them, so. I grab, look at that. Wow. Uh, I feel almost embarrassed, but I did buy this <laughs> Squirrel Girl issue. Where Mole Man comes to try to court her or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> Any random Thanos issue, especially a first print. Um, I'm going to pick that up. Uh, equally with Thanos Rising in this uh, Bianchi cover. That was number four. Uh, huh. That must have been on this pile over here. I had, them, I had it stacked up and I split it. Black Knight, man, does anyone, like, dig this character? I mean, he had the black sword that was, like, kind of making him loopy. And then he went to Weird World and that whole thing. I just think that Black Knight would be an awesome character to bring out. Or this, it's it's almost like, a, like Marvel Highlander, where he just goes out and just kills people with swords, man. That would be amazing. But this is a really good series, this Black Knight one. So I was glad to find even this issue and a great cover. Oh, great cover? What are you talking about? Mike Mayhew is, is the man. Um, I always love the oddball stuff, and so I bought that from Oni Press. Shout out to my man, Mr. Rigamortis. Um... I was so stoked to find this uh, signatured Spencer and Locke number two. Um, although I think I have issue two, the regular one. But I didn't have the issue one. And that signature is mangled. But hey, <laughs> uh, it was cool and a recommendation from Rig. So thank you, buddy. Uh, anytime I find some Wildstorm uh, from Warren Ellis, I pick it up. I didn't buy it the first time around, but I'm managing to find it, surprisingly, issue by issue. <clears throat> uh, Weird World, because, uh, excuse me, not Weird World, I said that earlier. Winter World. There's the one, two. That's a cool cover. Black Dynamite as well. I already know I had the first issue, but I only found, but I didn't have the rest. So now I have two, three, and the other cover to three, which I think is a major, major cover. Um, yeah, I strictly got this for the cover. It just looked crazy. So it's by a Grim Fairy Tale. Uh, birthright, if I see it, I kind of pick it up. It seems like it's 
would be a cool read. Anything Mark Millar, in this case MPH. Uh, this was a tough series, uh, four and issue five. Duncan for Grado Art, so it's really cool on the inside. Um, Michael Emig, 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 and Brian Michael Bendis on uh, uh, United States Murder Inc. I think this is the first series, and once again, I, I'm pretty sure I have the issue one to go with this two, three, and four. Simon Bisley here on 13 coins. Um, I didn't crack this open, but man, that would be interesting. Ah, what the heck, I got a second. Uh, in the meantime, this haul is also full of some really weird and rare Jenny Frisons. So, I mean rare in the sense that, uh, you know, what the heck is this? Oh my goodness. The page looked awesome. Uh, this looks like a what? A what? Oh man! Uh, I don't know what this is, but I'm certainly happy to have picked it up. <laughs> um, I don't know nothing about uh, even who this character is, but I know that was Jenny Friesen art. Miss Fury, number one, Dynamite. Batwoman Annual 2. Psh, would you pass up the threesome? I think not. Uh, it was really cool to find this final issue of Thunderbolts. Uh, really cool run. But uh, And then when I looked, I realized, oh, there's two issues. So Once again, I'm still always looking for this for Sputin, but... I already had this cover, but uh, I saw it again. It's the Stegman variant. Love that cover. Shout out to Pope G. Thanks, Bo. Um, I think I'm only missing the first issue or two of Bitch Planet, but I've gotten several runs recently, and this is a pretty good one. Five, six, <laughs> President Bitch. Wow. eight and nine there's my poster for this coming year get out and vote <laughs> uh anytime i see the series witches by jock and schneider um i grab a, an issue in this case one and what is that five um always like this greg land cover uh, this here is Stephanie Hans. Stephanie Hans on an early rebirth Batman. Batman looks kind of funky in that one, but... Oh, man. Always cool with these weird minis. Dark Engine, number one. Number two. And... Oh, yeah! Number three. Uh, gutter Magic, I mean... Love all these kind of books. Weird. Uh, Empress number one. Um, deja vu, I feel. Empress number one. <gasps> oh, no. Empress Scotty Young variant number one. Demonic number one. That was a good series. Uh, Revival Frizen cover. That's kind of cool. It's Jupiter's Legacy number one. Oh, Jenny Friesen. Monster variant of Grayson. That's number 13. It's a pretty rare Frizzone. Now, is this, a, is this a key book or is this a book? The Return of Kid Flash? I seem to remember that that was a, a cool book to find. Um, not as well versed as at Titans. Uh, this one also here seemed to be like an issue of some interest that faces the verdict of the Guardians. 
<laughs> Which time? Oh, look at this, man. I wish this was Green Lantern, Green Arrow 76, but this is the Neil Adams variant. It's Neil Adams and Jim Lee. Um, wow, what a killer homage cover. Uh, this should be of more interest or sought after, I think. This is really cool. All right, on to the, the next stack here. Uh, as you saw previously, Cutter, number one. It's a top cow book. Robert uh, Napton here. That's, uh, it's not Marilyn Manson. But look at that cover. Boom. You know? Uh, Satellite Falling, number one. Uh, I was pretty sure that I missed issue one, but I had the rest of those. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Three Stooges, number one. Yeah, I'll grab that. Harrow County. Oh, man. I just, like, heard across the ga the land. I was going to say galaxy. Uh, <laughs> doing shots right now. I don't know why. <laughs> um... Issue one of The Hunt. Hey, you want to smoosh? I, I don't know. It was just weird and I bought it. Gotham Academy one. Didn't. All right. Yeah, I couldn't pass it up twice, I guess. Six pack and dog welder. That's right. Garth Ennis. I just wanted this because it. It looked like it was like Alexi Zirit covers, but even if it's not, I mean, Loki Ragnarok and Roll. Uh, is this a precursor to Murder Falcon? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, a Ross Star Wars. That's cool. Beyonds, Batman Beyond. I was real happy to find this cover, the 75th Harley Quinn Joker cover. In multiple. This seemed like a fun cover to pick up as well. It's issue 15 of Harley Quinn. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the... Is this the bombshells? The United cover. Just the United bombshell. The Stargirl. Ooh, I found two. American Gods. Random issue of Black Hammer. Jenny Friesen covers a ghost. Those aren't hard to find. Any random Hellboy issue, I'm picking it up. Veil. Greg Rucka. I don't know what I have of that series, but hopefully that helps. Another one that was really weird. This was crazy. City? Oh, no. This Crypt of Screams. What is that? I looked through there, and it just was awesome, so I'm so happy to get that. Uh, another random... Cobra World Order. Surface number one. Excellent Jim Mafu uh, Girl Scouts. Six of six. Uh, this is a black and white cover. I don't, is that what it is? It's Manifest Destiny. Um, mainly for that cover. Wow, this is a great... Um, is this Molina? Jorge Molina. Oh, it's such a great, great cover. Jorge Molina, I think, puts uh, should be on that list with like a J.G. Jones. Um, was this a big deal? I thought, I don't know. Either way, it's a Black Canary one-shot. Wedding Planner. Uh, some more Gotham 1. Gotham Academy, second semester number 1. Some GL. Regular covers three and four. Um, I'm happy to have those early lanterns. I know, I don't know what this is, but I know this is a key. So I picked that up. Uh, issue 19, King of Atlantis, the new King of Atlantis. Hope that was interesting. Uh, this was a 75th of the Flash uh, cover. Kind of looks like that really cool sort of throwback cover that Flash just had 
in like issue 36 or 38, uh, 35 I think it was, I don't know, I can't remember, uh, Eternal, Batman number one, more Scott Snyder, Black Canary number one, Silk Spectre, just because I love that, Darwin, Cook Art, oh, this is a cool one, this was the 75th uh, Anniversary Joker cover, of Gotham Academy. Yes. Uh, Damian Wayne, Gotham Academy, number seven. There's a Frizen. There's a Jenny Frizen. On Shade, the Changing Girl, number five. <clears throat> oh, dang it, I forgot who this, uh, who the artist here was. I think there was several. I think it was a combo art, but, uh, Supergirl number 11. Always picking up Apocalypse when I find it, because uh, that series is ending. Uh, didn't quite make it to 40 issues. It's, uh, it's a Batgirl run here. It was in good shape. Batgirl 20, the Ventriloquist. I just love that. She gives a voice to death. That's my second copy of this. I have this selfie uh, Batgirl variant. I just thought that was kind of cool. And then again, I have this as well. Probably because I've been to that shop before. But this one here was a little bit more rough, I think. But my other copy is nice. But the Monsters variant of Batgirl. Bombshell cover, Batgirl. That's kind of cool too. Gotham City. <clears throat> Look at that. Justice League Dark. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I was happy to find this one. The Raven covered a Teen Titans bombshell. I've never seen this before. And this cover is hideous. But I bought it anyway just because it's so odd. I don't know what it is. Uh, would you pass up Gotham Garage number one? I wouldn't. I guess I got a second copy of this too. I'm going to read that. Uh, just because there's Justice League Dark appearances and Phantom Stranger and that Phantom Stranger. The Dark Bloody. This had some good art inside. I don't know why I'm buying it. it was, I just grabbed this Gotham Academy. I don't know why. Maybe I thought I could make a lot out of it. And this one here uh, was it was a Red Claw appearance or something like that. So I picked it up. Um, I seem to recall this was a good part of the story right here. I know this is a key of some sort. Yep. And then, a, oh, Red Lion, that's his name. Then I remember grabbing that. I thought that was of interest. It's cool detective comics here now. It's the Death in the Family uh, detective run. That was 16. Uh, 19, the 80 pager. And then, <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's just a cool cover. So cool, I got it twice. So, bam, that's what I'm going to end with. Um, thanks, y'all. And uh, I got, uh, and I still, jeez, let me see if I can show this. And I still have the last two weeks of haul uh, video left to shoot. Ugh. And the comic room's not put together yet. It's not completely. I still don't have a place to do a video. But I just had to get this out the way. Because uh, it's just stacks of comics. Anyway, this is Pope Service. I appreciate it, everybody. Thanks a lot. And uh, say what's up in the chat. Alright, see ya.